In this video from The Daily Ego, we explain the types of nutrition of living things, discover the difference between autotrophs, heterotrophs and mixotrophs. Autotropic nutrition. This type of nutrition occurs when an organism can create its food from inorganic substances, that is, those that do not contain carbon and that are not synthesized by living beings. An example of this is sunlight or carbon dioxide. Each autotropic organism falls under a different subgroup of this diet, depending on the root and elements it takes. Photoautotrophs are organisms that utilize photosynthesis as a means of obtaining energy and have specialized organelles called chloroplasts, which capture sunlight that is essential for this process. This category includes plants, algae and cyanobacteria. These are organisms that utilize reduced inorganic substances, meaning they acquire electrons that they use for respiration. This type of feeding is an adaptation observed in autotropic organisms that inhabit environments with low light availability. This type of feeding is an adaptation observed in autotrophic organisms that inhabit environments with low light. For example, the giant toothworm found in the deep sea. Heterotrophic nutrition. In contrast to the autotrophic nutrition, heterotrophic nutrition is a type of nutrition in which organisms obtain organic compounds from other organisms either by consuming them or by absorbing their organic remains. Heterotrophs cannot synthesize their own organic compounds and therefore depend on other organisms for nutrition. For example, animals can feed on meat or plants, while fungi feed on dead organic matter. Heterotrophic organisms can be further classified into five different groups based on how they obtain their organic compounds. These organisms ingest solid food in order to break it down in several steps and extract nutrients. The human being, for example, is holozoic. Next, we find the parasites. In this form of feeding, an organism remains inside the host to absorb nutrients that have already been digested. This relationship results in damage to the host, which can range from malnutrition to advanced disease. But before we continue, let us put you to the test. What type of organism is the groundhog? Autotroph, heterotroph, mixotroph. Think about it carefully, because at the end of the video, you can tag if you were right. Saprophytes are organisms that obtain their nutrition by breaking down and consuming dead organic matter from plants and animals. These dead organic materials may include decaying plants, animals and other organic debris. Symbiotes are organisms that live in a close and long-term relationship with another organism called a host. However, a symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two or more different species living together. An example of this, an example of this is a protozoa that live in the stomach of termites and help them process cellulose. Photoheterotrophs are organisms that derive their energy from sunlight but require organic compounds as carbon source for growth and development. Unlike photoautotrophic organisms, photoheterotrophic organisms cannot synthesize their own organic compounds and must obtain them from external sources. This is the case of certain species of bacteria. Mixotrophic nutrition. Mixotrophic nutrition is a type of diet in which an organism is able to obtain energy and nutrients from multiple sources. Mixotrophic organisms can use both organic and inorganic compounds as a source of energy, as well as photosynthesis and other forms of autotrophic nutrition. 
This type of diet is a great advantage to the organisms that possess it as they can adapt to a variety of circumstances. Mixotrophic nutrition is relatively rare compared to other forms of nutrition and is most often observed in unicellular organisms. Although some multicellular organisms, such as certain carnivorous plants, may also exhibit mixotrophic tendencies. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it through? The correct answer is B. The groundhog is an heterotrophic organism. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Until next time.